Notes are the most important thing to learn in Blender. With the help of notes, you can create procedural materials, composition, and now you can also create animation with notes. So in this series, so this series is all about nodes. We will first explain what are nodes, how it works, and then we will explain all the nodes one by one. So this is the first part where we will learn what are nodes and how it works and some simple experiment to understand it better. And then in the upcoming parts we will learn all the nodes one by one. Looks interesting? So let's get started. First of all I want to tell you that I am not a node expert and I can just show you the basic of all nodes. So first of all start with a common questions that what are nodes so the answer is that the concept of nodes help user to solve complex tasks by providing packs that transform inputs into outputs in general complex operations are split into basic nodes to give the most freedom to the user it's a kind of interface which is flexible to work with and combines the best both worlds. This was the theory. Now let's bring it to the practical. We can find the nodes in Blender here. So first we will use some simple nodes to understand how it works. Then we will start explaining one by one. So let's add a new material to our object. So when we add a new material we get two nodes. The one is output which is used to get output and you don't have this node you want you won't be able to get output or result from any node setup the second one is principal node it's one of the main and important node that can help in almost any procedural material that we create before blender 2.8 the default blender node was diffuse bsdf so at the output node we get three main outputs surface volume displacement so if if we are trying to create a material then it should be connected to the surface like as a default and if we want some poke or something related to the volume then we need to connect it to the volume and if we want to work with displacement then connect it there so by default it's through the surface Cool. So let's learn the basic interface of nodes that how to connect and disconnect the nodes. So with lift click on the green dot we can connect it into the other node by connecting it to the second node green dot. And for disconnecting it just hold down control key and then drag with right click to cut it like knife or you can also redrag it a connection from the dot again so it will be disconnected so now we will get notice that there are some more colors dot so let's talk about if that there is a yellow color dot then it means there is some color info or color data if there is a purple dot then it means there are some normal texture or displacement info or something related to it. Okay, so now let's add a simple texture to our object with a few simple nodes. For the first, make a quick unwrap. So go to edit mode, select all with A, then press U, then simply unwrap it with the spare projection. Now come to the node again and press Shift A then search for image texture so it's a node which are used for adding texture and now connect it to the basic color or principal node so as you can see the both dots are yellow which means both dots have a color data okay so now we need to mapping we need some mapping nodes to control the transform of the texture on our object so again shift A then search for mapping and left click to add it and we need one more node named as 
texture coordinate which are used to get info from UVs. So connect the UV to the vector then vector to vector. So now if we add some values for scale it will work. Now let's take a view at what we can do with principal node. So it's a very advanced node with some really great features. It's commonly used for creating some metal, plastic, silver and other kind of procedural texturing. So let's start making some simple materials. So that's it for this video. In the next video we will start explaining nodes one by one. So if you like the video give me a like and subscribe to the channel for more interesting videos. And for now bye.